So I've been in the offshore oil and gas industry for almost 30 years. I set up a company called 2H Offshore, uh, which is uh, based in Woking. They have offices now all around the world, about 250 people designing riser systems. So that's really my background, riser systems. And as part of that uh, history or, or, or career of designing risers, uh, I came across a lot of problems which uh, I knew would be solved by using M-Pipe. So where, when, when Martin Jones, who set the company up, told me about M-Pipe, I was very interested to, to join them. Steel has got a great track record and, and it's a great material, I'm a big fan of it. But I know that at a certain point it gets too heavy, it suffers from corrosion, it's got fatigue limitations and at some point it makes sense to try and reduce those problems. So the real benefits come in deep water, deep water dynamic risers. This is where it ticks a lot of boxes and, and what we say to our customers is uh, uh, M-Pipe is a, is a very uh, good product, it offers lots of nice features but really for it to be uh, attractive uh, and economically attractive, you need to tick a few boxes. So you need to find the applications where you have resistance to fluids, resistance to corrosion, uh, fatigue, lightweight, etc. And if you can tick a few of these boxes simultaneously, it becomes a very attractive solution. We sort of see ourselves sitting in between a non-bonded flexible and a steel pipe in terms of our stiffness and our MBRs. And really then we have to work around that. And I think the the back deck handling equipment is a, is a good example of that. So we, we accept it can't be bent to the same MBRs, but the advantage of that is we use a larger diameter reel. So we need fewer wraps and fewer fewer uh, uh, a smaller reel in order to get the same length of product on it. So actually what happens is the reel height goes up but the footprint goes down. Using Derek's experience uh, of knowing how to configure back deck equipment, that's the key, and then from my side being able to explain the challenges of handling this type of product and so together over a period of meetings uh, and visits we, we went through a number of iterations and what I think we have now is a really compact system. The combination of magma and maritime allows us to bring together two state-of-the-art products, integrate that together and have something then which is very efficient and this is the key to cost reduction. Uh, we need to be able to put it on a small vessel with a low day rate, uh, that's the first step and then when it is offshore we need to be able to handle it in the most efficient manner to do the job as quickly as we can. So low day rate with a short uh, delivery time and retrieval time. And that's something that we think that the system that Maritime have developed uh, complements very nicely the properties of the pipe.